Okay, first I'm gonna say pay no attention to the back of the set. I've lost some sort of bet in the long run. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Pokemon, how they've changed Pokemon Go to changing the avatars to a more androgynous version of the avatars that you can have in there. They, they've completely erased the woman form and just made things absolutely ugly looking. So this all starts with this tweet from Pokemon Go, trainers, your avatar can now look even like you. We're excited to announce that new avatar customization options are now live on Pokemon Go and it's created an absolute flurry of activity on social media. I might be a little bit late on this, but I'm not really because it took time for everything to explode the way it is. I've got quite a bit to show here. We're gonna talk about this and how this update is absolutely not what people wanted in their game. But before I do, subscribe to the channel. I cover multiple various different gaming topics. So please subscribe to the channel. Try and come back time and again, just to get some more gaming news on what is going on in the world. This update, you kind of look at the person in the mirror or in the doorway there, you're kind of like, okay, yeah. And then you have the, the girl here with their back turned going, okay, cool, they're, they're wearing the same thing. But you can notice there's absolute um, lack of definition. There is no defining factors of the person that you are looking at. Yeah, you've got colored hair, you're wearing a tracksuit that's the same, but the figure that used to be there is no longer. This is for a game, a phone mobile game that promotes you walking to get physically fit. Right? That's the other side effect of Pokemon Go. And this is why so many people jumped onto the bandwagon to play Pokemon Go. We've got people asking who suggested the change and why to the academy of people? Why were the small in incidents on the woman's hip adjusted at all? Why not add more variation options in clothing and hairstyles instead? I'd like to ask about a partnership as well. I discovered an activist group who lists you as a client. I'd like to know if they had any hand in this. And that activist group known as, uh, is it Gamers X? Yes, I was correct on that. Gamer X, as in gay-mer for pride and LGBTQ stuff. Why is this consulting Nantech? If you go into there, you've got Nantech being consulted by them. Dead by Daylight 4, which had its own separate story uh, that people got very upset about because they added in a horror hunter into the game with uh, tran a trans woman's voices, and then they made it absolutely disgusting and ugly and all this other stuff, and people got very upset with that, and it was like, well, this they're a horror game. Things are not going to look nice. And then you have Volition, which I believe, was that not who made Saints Row and then folded shop? So this is where Nintendo and Nantech is going for Pokemon Go right now is to these consulting agencies. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this was Volition shuts down by Embracer after Saint Row disappointment. The remake of Saints Row was another consulting company at this point has completely ruined franchises. They shut down Saints Row. So right now we have Sweet Baby Inc completely ruining things, completely going after uh, Cabrutus over the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. Now it's more being called D.I.E. Detected for the diversity, inclusion, equity uh, detected because all these things that they keep shoehorning into games absolutely ruins them. So Saints Row shuts down Volition. Now we have the same company that did the narrative design on, Vol on Saints Row helping Nantic with Pokemon Go. And at this point, everyone's up in arms saying, this looks absolutely horrible. And it's created a, a, a very questionable state of the game where some of the avatars um, with, the, with the large size of them are now flashing their private parts in the game. They say this is unintended and they're bugs, 
but really where are we with with this game now and if you go through the the results here you see a lot of people talking about it and this one in particular you can see the definition is gone you can see what looked like definition previously and now what they look like is just a flat flumpy mess they're not anything that anyone cares about and it doesn't look like anything in particular they look more masculine than the feminine model that they used to have some some of these things like this one here in particular it's now just an absolute mess you know no one wants an ugly looking avatar that looks like they're gaining weight while playing this game because that's not what it is the whole purpose of pokemon go was to lose weight to walk to promote health this is not healthy when you sit there and promote things that are not that just because you want them to look like you scrolling through this is absolutely horrendous like this one here hey, what what are we looking at a uh, corporate asks you to find the difference between these two photos what are we looking at here now of course nantic has heard what's going on with the uh, community feedback over this and it's been horrendous uh recently we published an article uh titled pokemon go's new avatar update unfortunately live covering the new avatar system that nantech launched on april 17 2024 in pokemon go despite negative beta feedback and a large number of visual issues and bugs the reaction to the article was unprecedented with hundreds of supportive readers commenting on our x and facebook accounts our discord server and in private messages and emails what is happening in the background while the online support of our criticism was strong we are we're still not sure if nantech will actually heard the feed our feedback with the problems of the features nantech has asked for collected and acknowledged the feedback given by our readers and fellow content creators influencers and members of the online community a high-ranking nantech has shared the following statement we are sending all feedback to the product team and the folks who worked on the avatar system were taking it seriously and really appreciate you sharing your candid personal opinions follower opinions some visuals in issues have already been addressed most mostly the issues fixed are the ones that resulted in a not safe for work imagery in the game remember this is a game that's targeting kids and any type of not safe for work uh, imagery in this type of game is absolutely apparent gross disgusting and should have been caught in the bugs in the first place so you gotta wonder who's on their team at this point if they're not going to be firing someone over those uh those things nantech has also ma made no promises on the future course of the avatar system nor have they made any promises about reverting it but they have received all of our feedback including of yours and have confirmed that they are taking it seriously just so you and just so we are aware here this is go hub they are a pokemon news site that is covering this uh for overall thanks for the feedback i appreciate the critical thought both on the good and the bad and i've circulated with the team shutting replies off on that post now because they don't want any more because they're getting lit up and it's absolutely disgusting at this point. Huh, I, I gotta say, this is absolutely disgusting on here, and this is another narrative design team that has gone into something that was working fine and then shoehorned their own political uh, agenda to make things more androgynous and to remove the female body type out of these games. It's absolutely gross and disgusting. And at some point, something has to give with all of this that we are seeing in the industry right now. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix. Cinder Shadow, I am signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.